Hello out there and good morning. I want to welcome you all to another edition of Daily Devotional Reading on Gulf TV. I pray that the blessings of this blessed day be with you and your family in Jesus' mighty name. For your information, you can access the text for this daily devotion on our website by accessing the link as displayed on the screen. So today, Friday 16th, we shall be taking our devotional reading as usual from the Sunday School Manual of the Gospel Faith Mission International. Let us pray. Father, we want to thank you this morning for this brilliant opportunity that you have given to us to see the dawn of a new day. Lord, we ask, as we book an appointment with you this morning, we ask that, Lord, you will minister life unto us. You will make us to know your counsel. And we will be better conformed to the image of your son. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. We are in lesson 7 of our Sunday Bible School. And um, this week we are actually looking at a topic that says the habit of prayer. Our general topic is the habit of prayer. For the adults, we'll be looking at prayer is needed to finish well. Prayer is needed to finish well. And for the youth out there, I'd like you to understand that you ought to pray and not lose heart. That's your topic. It says you ought to pray and not lose heart. And for the intermediate, it says teach us to pray. I want us to remember that for this quarter, we are actually looking at discovering spiritual maturity. Those things that we need to make us grow into maturity in God. God wants all of his children to grow into maturity. And that's one of the reasons why we are looking at issues of prayer today. Because we need it for maturity. And today's text. We have a topic for us this morning. And it is all manners of prayer. All manners of of prayer. And we'll take our scriptural text for this morning from the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and we'll read from verse 13 to 18. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplications for all the saints. We shouldn't forget that we are looking at the habit of prayer this week. One of those vital habits that we need to cultivate as matured Christian in God is the habit of prayer. And today we are actually looking at all manners of prayer. I'd like us to understand that prayer is an important weapon of warfare of the Christians. Oftentimes, we spend a lot of time praying for our needs. Whenever we go to God, we shower all the prayer time praying for our needs. But I'd like us to understand that prayer can equally be used as a weapon of warfare. The scripture we have read this morning, Apostle Paul is enjoining us to take on the whole armor of God. When you put on the whole armor of God, it's telling you that there is the need for you to get set for battle. There is the need for you to go to warfare and get so many things done. And one of those tools with which you are able to fight your battle through in life is the instrumentality of prayer. Prayer is very, very vital. I'd like us to understand that prayer is partnering with God to bring forth His counsel here on earth to establishment. And it is so crucial for every one of us. Um, from our Sunday school text, let me read one or two things that was written here. It says that this is the prayer 
Oftentimes, we spend a lot of time praying for our needs. This is the prayer of supplication and petition. God gave us the right to pray for our needs. Our prayer should, however, consist all manners of prayer. When we go to God in prayers, we should not only spend all the time praying for our needs. We can equally pray some other types of prayers. Prayers like what? We can pray a prayer of supplication. The prayer of supplication is when you have discovered a revealed will of God and then you stay on God's word till those words, those promises of God are brought to establishment in the life of whosoever that we are praying for. That is the prayer of supplication. There is a, a case at hand that must be dealt with. And then you are telling God, reminding God that this is what you are spoken in your word. And we want you to bring these words to pass. That is the word, that is the prayer of supplication. Another manner of prayers that we can pray is the prayer of intercession. What do we do when we intercede? You see a brother or a sister going through a situation. And then you felt, oh, this is not God's will for this person. And then we want to partner with such a brother or such a brethren to reverse that situation. So you go in between God and that brethren. You want to intercede. Intercession means to stand in between, to, to intercede, to pray on behalf of another person. It's another vital types of manners of prayers that we pray, you know, um, unto God. We should also pray for members, for families, for nations, for our leadership. Leadership in the nation, leadership in the church, we should equally pray for them. We can bring all manners of prayers as the Holy Spirit of the Lord suggests this into our heart all of the time to pray. I want us to understand that whenever we pray, it is not just an obligation, it is not just an activity, it is not just a spiritual ritual, but it is a way by which we commune to God, we commune with God, and we communicate with God. Our point of emphasis for today is pray always with all prayers and supplication in the Spirit. And our prayer point for today is saying, Holy Spirit, give me a clear understanding of the winning strategies in prayer. Give me a clear understanding of winning strategies in prayer. Oh, prayer is meant to be practiced. As we do this, the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Father, we have received your word. Let your word add on to faith in our heart. And let it profit our soul. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I believe, viewers, that you have been blessed. Join us again 6 a.m. tomorrow as we take another look into life-transforming word of God. For questions, don't hesitate to reach us by email or call any of our dedicated lines from all of us here at GovTV. Do have a splendid day in God's presence.